One of the countless effects of the pandemic has been a shortage of workers. Millions of people lost or quit their jobs across the U.S. and it's trickled down and is now causing the cost of food to go up. Our Brendan King spoke to the experts today. These chefs prepare for the Thursday lunch rush, the perfect ingredients to make an authentic Italian meal. Since 93, we've been here, so it's been a while. Giuseppe Giambanco runs and operates Roma Ristorante Italiano on Staples Mill Road. Lately, the 28-year-old has been forced to increase some prices on his menu due to rising food costs. I just want to let people know that how restaurant owners are, you know, at incredible financial risks. They're um, it's unpredictable. Hundreds shared his most recent Facebook post detailing a peak into the restaurant industry in 2021. Beef prices are up 47%, he wrote. Pork costs have doubled. Chicken breasts are up 40%. Shrimp? also up 25 percent. So, um, these are basically just the buffalo wings that we use here that have gone up double in price. Some customers are upset about the prices going up, but it's it's going to happen. Every restaurant is going to raise their prices because they have to. You know, you're not making any profit. I asked Dr. Jeff Smith, a supply chain expert at VCU School of Business, to explain what's going on. We have a shortage of labor, we have a shortage of materials, and it costs more to distribute. So all those pieces add up. He says local farms no longer contribute as much to the food supply like in years past. As you've had a lot of local farmers for a long time, but they have slowly lost out to the major players. Tyson gets more and more of the market. Purdue gets more and more of the market. Dr. Smith warns this surge in food costs may be here to stay. We're in this for the long haul, 2022, 2023 potentially. That's scary and sad. Oh, these are... Uh... This is langostino, like little lobster claws. A jarring fact this restaurant owner must take head on to stay afloat. I don't think it will put us out of business, but I do think that we might have to change up our concept a little bit and kind of do a different style um, if, you know, staffing gets any worse. <laughs> 